for me, a really cool experience after college uh, is this. So this is actually my first like real job after college, um, and you know, being able to help all these uh, high schoolers transition is uh, something that was really exciting to me. Um, but one thing that I am really glad that I got to do while I was in college, um, I got to serve as the president of the Pi Kappa Alpha Fraternity, um, and that opened so many doors for me and showed me that like helping other people doesn't necessarily have to look a certain way or feel a certain way. It can really be uh, anything that you make it to be as long as you have those leadership skills. So one cool thing that I got to do while I was in college was be an international student and study for a semester in London. And that was probably, that is one of the pinnacle times of my education was being able to um, go to a, and it was a while ago, it was like, you know, 1988, but Nonetheless, it was an amazing experience. Um, I believe that it made me a lifelong learner more than being uh, a college student back in the United States. And I believe that being exposed to those cultures and living in a different culture and learning about how other people go through the educational process was very valuable. Um, and to this day, I feel very much connected to uh, London, England, and, and actually while we were there we were able to travel to Bath and Stratford-upon-Avon and um, visit many cathedrals, go to um, various things, and I, I met Reverend Desmond Tutu. At the time he spoke about apartheid at um, Westminster Abbey, so there were just a lot of really amazing opportunities that happened during that time, and I would encourage any student to look into being an, uh, an exchange student. So the best part of Gear Up 2.0 for me is definitely getting onto campuses and, and seeing our kids at colleges. Um, one of my favorite memories was going to Kirkwood with some kids and maybe ones who hadn't thought of college much in the past. And when they got into the dormitories and saw how nice they were um, and, and got to sit in on some classes and do some other things, they just got really super excited. So getting those kids that maybe hadn't thought of college before onto a college campus and kind of seeing it as a reality and how great it can be was really awesome for them. I think the best part of Gear Up 2.0 that I've experienced was the opportunity to be able to chaperone a Clinton High School Gear Up student to the Youth Leadership Summit in San Francisco this past summer. The opportunity to be able to participate in that conference and to be able to see him build relationships with other students from around the United States that are part of Gear Up was probably one of the more amazing things that I've had the chance to do during this whole experience. The best part of Gear Up I experienced was uh, when I went on a field trip with the Central High School students. It was predominantly young men, a couple of gals in there. Uh, we went to John Deere, the Davenport Works, and um, we did a tour of the building and the students that were kind of hum-ho about any of the field trips loved this trip because it spoke to them. And there were actually a couple students um, that were now employees at Deere that spoke in a panel after the tour of the building and uh, the bus ride home was so cool because all they could talk about is, I want to work at John Deere. They pay a lot of money, I get benefits, I get vacation. So that was, that was wonderful. A piece of advice I'd give students is to take every opportunity that they can get and make sure that you fulfill everything that Gear Up gives you, especially like college visits and then opportunities to talk to your parents about financial aid and just really giving you a step further into your college experience. So as a Gear Up coordinator at Otomo High School, it's been an absolute pleasure working with the students. I can't really identify one specific instance that was my greatest experience, but just sharing um, part of the student's journey and just being a, a really small piece in, in their success um, is so rewarding. Watching them as they're learning of their acceptance to colleges or getting awarded scholarships was really exciting. I also think just getting them uh, in those light bulb moments is powerful. So whether it was on a college campus, job shadowing, um, or maybe it was in, during an academic support time of ACT test prep or um, tutoring, being able to share in those moments was, 
was very rewarding. Uh, my biggest piece of advice that I like to share with students is um, don't be afraid to be a rebel. So like you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta be who you want to be and be what's best for you. Um, I always like to say march to the beat of your own drum because you know in college or after high school you really don't have time to march to someone else's drum um, and you always got to make sure that you're putting yourself out there and making yourself uncomfortable because that's the only way that you can really truly grow and learn um, as best as you can.